Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, temperatures near or just below freezing right now. It's a quiet to cool, dry night, mainly cloudy. Take a look outside and uh, you can see in Providence now looking good. And we don't anticipate any um, issues with the weather in terms of travel overnight and for the morning commute. We'll stay dry for one more day before we bring in our next chance for precipitation over part of the weekend. High temps today, not quite 50, almost though 48. I mean, the average high is 37. You know, it's kind of the coldest portion of the winter season is usually right about now. So a good 10 degrees above average, and we should have temperatures back into at least the mid 40s tomorrow afternoon. It's down to 30 in Providence, 32 Smithfield, Taunton's at 26, cold in New Bedford at 28 and westerly checks in at uh, 33 under mainly cloudy conditions. Cumberland at the freezing market last check at 32. So the cold air retreats. I mean, even though the late nights like right now, it's chilly. The afternoon temperatures are pretty good next several days. In fact, I would say for the next five days, our afternoon temperatures are going to be in the 40s each day. Uh, rain on the way, not snow for Saturday. Now, last Saturday we had the snow, it was cold enough, but enough mild air on Saturday that it's a rain situation starting in the afternoon, becoming heavy Saturday night. Downpours can even be the rumble of thunder, some gusty wind as well. Sunday looks like the drier day. We'll show you that in the seven day forecast. This canopy of clouds is high and thin, so it's not a low cloud cover. It's not producing any precipitation, but you can clearly see our next area of moisture, and there's nothing scattered about it. A lot. Area of low pressure right in here. And all of this headed our way, not the snow, but rather all this green representing the rain arriving Saturday afternoon and especially Saturday night. And then it's gone on Sunday. Let me show it to you hour by hour. Now, two o'clock tomorrow afternoon, we're dry here in New England. This rain is still back through the Midwest. Now we jump ahead to Saturday at about two o'clock. We're starting to see two o'clock in the afternoon, a few isolated showers, but the main area of downpours and thunder is still to our west, and that should arrive Saturday evening and Saturday night, and then it pushes offshore. So here we are. Saturday night at uh, 8, 9, 10 o'clock with heavy rain and some gusty wind. It all pulls offshore on Sunday. So notice Sunday is a drier day. Now it's not perfect. We may see a couple of isolated showers, but Sunday clearly not as wet as Saturday afternoon and Sunday evening. How much rain? Computers are still indicating up to an inch of rain, especially Saturday evening. Some gusty wind as well, up to 30 miles per hour. Forecast locally overnight through tomorrow morning, uh, calling for some sunshine or partly sunny sky, starting off in the upper 20s during the afternoon, mid 40s, and then fr uh, Friday evening and Friday night, uh, you're heading out. The weather looks fine, cool and dry with temperatures in the 30s. Seven day forecast shows that rain for Saturday afternoon, Saturday night gone on Sunday. Now again, I wouldn't rule out an isolated shower for Sunday. I just think most of it is dry with a blend of clouds and a little sun breezy with high temperatures uh, in the 40s. So kind of that half and half weekend rain this time around and not snow. All right, sounds good, Tony. These stories get me every time. Mm -hmm. One.